Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can hard reset your Redmi K30 and also how you can do Android development on your Redmi K30 or any other Xiaomi or Redmi device to install custom ROM or custom recovery on your Xiaomi or Redmi devices. Now, hard reset is always good because uh, when you do factory reset, there is still some cache files left in the device. So when you're doing a hard reset, not only you are just completely removing everything from your device, but also the small cache files, which is always saved in the system. So let's start the video. But before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon. So you will get notified every time I post a new video. So the method is very simple. First, you need to turn off your device. Just power off. So once the device is power off, you can press on the power button and the volume down button to go to the fast boot mode. Now, basically fast boot is a mode where you can go and do Android development by connecting a USB cable to your computer and giving other commands. And in the same way, you can go to the hard reset menu. All you need to do is press the power button and the volume up button for a while and the device will go to the recovery mode. Also, you can go from fast boot mode to the recovery mode. I will show you in this video. So let's start with the fast boot method first. So press on the power button and the volume down button for a while. So now we are in the fast boot mode. So if I plug in my USB type C cable over here and connect to the computer, I can give external commands and root this device or do any kind of Android development, install custom ROMs or recovery, but I don't want to do that. So, so from the fast boot mode, we can directly go to the recovery mode. All you need to do is again, the press the power button and the volume up button for a while. Keep pressing. When you see the Redmi logo, you can leave it. Now it will go to the recovery mode. So this is your method for the recovery mode. Now here you can wipe your data. So you can choose the volume up and down key to select the menu. And by pressing the power button, you can start the procedure. So let's uh, wipe the data. Click on power button. It will again give you a alert that you want to wipe your data or you would like to go back to the main menu. I would like to wipe all my data. So click on the power button. Again, there is a alert that this would be the last time. Again, you can see the confirm wipe of all data. This cannot be undone. Click on confirm. So see in a very quick time, all my data has been successfully wiped. Now go back to the main menu. Click on reboot the system. You can also do a factory reset from the software side, go to the setting and choose reset option. But I think this is even better because you wipe everything from your phone, including your cache files. So I always recommend this method over the software reset method. So the hard reset is done. Now we are greeted with the MIUI 11 screen. Now, whatever you have in the device, everything has been deleted. But just to cross check whether everything has been deleted and the device is new, you can check the home screen. So as you can see, we are greeted with the home screen. Everything has been deleted from this device, your call logs, your pictures, your gallery. You can see everything has been deleted. So it's like a fresh device now. So that's all for this video, guys. If you'd like to see the Redmi K30 unboxing and tips and tricks, you can click over here. Also, I've made a lot of unboxing videos in the past. If you'd like to see my unboxing videos, you can click over here to see those videos. That's all for this video, guys. See you soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.